Now revisiting our top story, we have um, Senator Charles Schumer on the phone to update us on those two prisoners, uh, the search for those two prisoners, and the subsequent today breaking news, the shooting of Richard Matt, and also the continued search for now David Sweat. Do we have Senator Schumer on the phone? Hi, it's me. Hi. Thank yeah. you for joining us, Senator. I understand that you were just debriefed by U.S. Marshals. Give us the latest. Yes, by the U.S. Marshals and the head of Border Patrol. You can, I can confirm that Matt is dead. He was shot by Border Patrol, Federal Border Patrol, actually from Vermont, who were helping out in New York. And uh, they are in, it seems, you know, just about certain they're in pursuit of sweat. Um, after they found the uh, underwear in the cabin on Thursday, that's the second cabin, uh, not the first one, uh, they closed in on um, where Matt and Sweat were. Uh, a, a person knocked on a door at 2 a.m. Uh, on a woman's home. She did not let them in. She called the authorities immediately, and dogs got a scent of uh, the prisoner and led them to Matt where they shot him. Uh, it seems pretty certain one of them is armed because shots were fired in the area and actually a trailer was hit by bullet fire. No one was hurt uh, in, in that remote area. Uh, as for sweat, the dogs seem to have two scents. It's not always certain, but it's a pretty good bet. They have two scents, so they, and the other one was almost certainly to be sweat. So they're in hot pursuit of him now. What about the word of a carjacking? We heard that uh, a man was driving a camper in Malone, in the Malone area, and uh, he heard those gunshots. What, what do we know about this? Yes. No, what we know about that is he did hear gunshots, and then when he stopped several miles later to look at his uh, car, he, there were bullet holes in the trailer. No one was hurt. No one was carjacked, but bullets were fired. And how confident are officials there that they um, are going to get David Sweat here in the well, next few hours? Well, you know, hopefully. confidence is too strong a word after all that has happened, but they have a pretty good certainty that they are in pursuit of Sweat now. And just Not certain, but it seems like it. And it seems like the dogs have his scent, which is a good thing. And just to reiterate, he is considered armed. We don't know who had the guns, whether it was Sweat or Matt or both. But right. the one of them was clearly armed. Uh, one other thing I would just say, our law enforcement has really done a very, very good job here and deserves a lot of credit. It's rugged terrain, difficult territory, and uh, they've done the right thing. Yes, their work has, has definitely um, been regarded by many people here, and their hours certainly have been around the clock. So thank you, Senator Charles Schumer, for joining us here this afternoon to update us on this breaking news. If our viewers are just joining us here, we did receive some breaking news from upstate New York. Those two prisoners that escaped from the Clinton Correctional Facility, Richard Mapp was shot dead by authorities. David Sweat is still at large. However, police do believe they have, um, um, they are rather hot on his trail.